Hi, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. We're going to plan today for the month of July. So let's just get straight in. This is my cover page that I do. I've said before I don't really need this page, so I use it as a cover page and just put a little piece of art. And this month I'm going to use this little journaling card and came in one of my that came in one of my recent orders from Coffee Monsters Co. And it's like a little ice cream stand, the wee emoji with a hat on. It's so adorable. And here's hoping that it will be a glorious summer and that this will bring all the sunny vibes. And then this is a summer washi from Coffee Monsters Co. Let me show you a swatch. I actually got it back in 2021. <laughs> That's hard to believe. Um, here. Really gorgeous. A little sort of uh, beach background and then all the little summer emojis. Emoji wearing an elephant onesie and a cow onesie. And then it has gold and it has it says S-U-M-M-E-R in the background. So let's get this little page set up. You feel like summer days to me, warm tender sunny rays. I hope that we are meant to be. You say somehow I know your history Oh, come what may, I'm ready Picture frames, lavender and pain They all live here Okay, monthly, right. If you watched my recent haul, I just got the July to December monthlies from Coffee Monsters Co. I'll link that down below in case you missed it. Uh, but the theme is water lilies. Love the water. Favourite flower is a lily. Gorgeous colours. So I'm really looking forward to setting this up. But here's all my little washi stickers and the little art print and the sea. Um, I actually bought an additional washi sticker sheet since I showed you that haul. Um, I had brought two from January to June and for some reason never thought of that whenever I was ordering it the first time and wanted to make sure I had enough because I definitely use all these little doodles throughout the month. So that is that little one. I'm going to set that to the side just so I can use it. And then here is the actual kit. Let's pull it out. Oh, so here's sheet one, two, three additional washi strips and the additional 1.3 inch labels. So let's start by getting the base down on the monthly as usual and then we can put in the plans. Let's stick in our plans. So I have a nail appointment on the first and as you'll notice if you're new I read it my planner to Monday. It just works better in my brain that it matches the weeks. So I think I'm going to actually put down these now because all my nail appointments are on the Monday so I might as well just put them in at the same time. Five, yep that works. Drawing 
gonna be back in my Sharpie S gel phase, I guess. So um, this is a Sharpie S gel and it's 0.7. Just realized I actually booked it on the Tuesday. Don't ask me why. I should just hit the wrong day when I was using the app in the calendar. So this should be over here. I need to put it a bit lower so it'll fit. Right, then let's do the birthdays and there are only two. So I'm going to get two from here, I think. Let's do this one and this one. And then there are two balloons in the kit. Keeping it simple this week, or month rather. One, two. I'm sorry about if you can hear all the noises outside my window, but I am absolutely cooking, so I have to keep it open. Um, right, so we have a birthday here. And a birthday here. Cute. Right, then I have a hair appointment on the 27th. So I'm gonna use one of these boxes, I think because it takes up a lot of time. Um, and hopefully there isn't something else I want to mark in on that day. <laughs> I suppose if there is, I can just put it up the top. So let's keep it nice and low then, for that reason. And then for this, I'm actually going to get an extra sticker out of my main little book because I have hair appointment ones. I might as well use them. This is from Hubman and Chub Girl. And then I have Payday. So let's use one of these little notes. Um, and this. And we'll mark that. Next week I will be doing, which is hard to believe, my half year flip through. So I'll be flipping through this whole planner right from the start until the end of June. So you'll see all my completed months if you're wanting to see what that looks like. I only put bits and pieces in now, but I completely fill them out. So I think all I have left then is the actual events. So let's get them out of here. And these are from Coffee Monsters Co. And the ones I use in the week are these ones and the ones I use in the month are these smaller ones. So the 26th is the start of the Olympics. I love watching rhythmic gymnastics. There's two twins and their names are very similar and I've took a mental blank. I went through a phase a while ago of on YouTube watching all their competitions. Oh, how annoying, but they're, they're phenomenal um, and I just, Totally love watching the rhythm of gymnastics, so I might watch them again this year. I'm not into all the stuff, but I do enjoy that. Anyway, Olympics is its 26th. Assume that what it means, that's what it means that it starts, because obviously it doesn't just last one day. And then I have the 11th night, the 12th, and then because it's the 12th on a Friday, I'll be off work. So we'll do this little flag for the 12th. And then this little, this is actually meant for Guy Fox, but that's an English thing. So um, I just use it for the 11th. And then I need something for being off work, but I don't want to use one. Of, oh, I have an extra bank holiday. Look at me. They're the extra weekly ones, but it doesn't matter. Okay, right. That just leaves the dashboard. Currently watching verse of the month, um, what my journal themes are, what this theme is, and that's where I put my seal, and then my little weekly mind map goes here. So let's get all that set up. All through the stages Both becoming seen Vivid in the bone 
July. Definitely my favourite so far. And I hope you enjoyed that and hanging out. And I will see you again real soon. Bye!